the uh, the vocalists I liked the singing it reminded me of uh, Cameron Hawkins Hawkins of FM if you Canadian prog band uh, I thought the singing is terrific I thought there was a bit of a rushiness to them I'm a rush fan so I like that I, I felt this sort of 70s-ish vibe a little bit of a mastodon kind of feel there overall nice positivity and uh, upbeat kind of feel of the song the production's top tier uh, there's a bit of a southern rock flavor here and there uh, interesting chords all around like not that the chords I mean themselves are interesting the patterns that they use the, the way that the changes ha that happen the songwriting basically that I was uh, I really enjoyed the slide guitar I thought um, I, it reminded me a little bit of Opeth you know it hit a whole bunch of bands Stephen Wilson maybe even in the singer's voice as well um, I liked his voice uh, the 20 minute length is intimidating and I, I've had this on my queue for a while to play and I look at it and I see 20 minutes and I think oh, I'm not into that tonight I don't want to hear a 20 minute piece of music and uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes with a, a 20 minute piece you have to be in the mood uh, and that was quite an epic 20 piece 20 minute piece of music uh, close to the edge for example is another 20 minute piece of music and it doesn't surprise me in a way that maybe there's lots of people who haven't heard it before because they go 20 minutes that's sort of like a huge commitment right that's why i guess pop music is so popular it just it has a little less of a demand on you the dynamics were terrific in this song uh, a lot of in this group uh the um it's one of these bands that why have i never heard of this band before the it's a real bassist band too amazing bass sound it has a nice buzzy uh fuzzy sort of sound aggressive sound the bass sounded great lots of uh, chords in the, even which i'm going to actually get the guitar and play the, the part that i really liked a lot with the guitar chords i thought were so cool there is even a little bit of a psychedelic feel it got really orchestral in the end there lots of building layers lots of layer building pink floyd feel a little bit you know it's just overall optimistic feel there's even a beatlesqueness to the whole outro which was a repetitive uh build up of this motif and uh it was a very positive feeling and uh sort of a, it reminded me a little of chris squire's fish out of water album if you know that one that's a classic progressive rock piece of music it's a solo album by chris squire yes and he has one song in there which which, which is very repetitive and uh builds on a repetition and um I can handle repetition. Um, not all the time, though. Not every day. I'm not going to put on uh, a song that I know is repetitive uh, because this song is repetitive in the end there. Uh, in a good way, it seems to suit it. Those are my thoughts overall. A band that I really want to know more about. It's like, where the heck did these guys come from? This is amazing. I mean, let's get the guitar out. It's only 11 minute mark. Okay, I'm almost out of... I'm running out of space in my camera, so I'll make it really quick. It's just the bass is going... Duh, 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 bass is hitting a chord i just love that it's gorgeous um that's just a rough uh, guesstimate actually of the song but anyways like i say i'm running out of space so i'm going to sign off and say uh keep uh, adventuring and uh exercising your ear listening to lots of progressive rock and growing and along with uh, all this great music thanks for watching and we're spiraling out it's dean saying see you next video bye now